any biology lab, proper pipetting technique is key. Pipetting solutions accurately and precisely can be the difference between successful results and a failed experiment. A wide variety of pipette brands and styles exist. However, this video will focus on how to use Eppendorf P10, P100, P200, and P1000 pipettes. Take a look at the different sizes of pipettes. You can find the scale of each pipette on the top of the handle. Each pipette can only be used to measure volumes within the range labeled on the handle. Dialing beyond this volume range will damage the pipette, and using a pipette for a smaller volume will result in poor accuracy. You will get the best accuracy by using the smallest pipette that is still big enough for your needs. Once you have the best pipette, set it to the proper volume. Using the dial, adjust the number to your desired volume. Look at the P1000 pipette. In order to set the pipette to 1000 microliters, turn the volume adjustment dial until the pipette reads 1, 0, 0, 0. On some pipettes, there is a line on the volume indicator that represents a decimal point. After the volume is set, attach a pipette tip to your micro pipette by pressing the end of the pipette barrel firmly on the tip. Be sure you have the correct size tip. There are three different commonly used pipette tips. Usually, the color of the tip corresponds to the color on the plunger button. For example, the P100 pipette has a yellow plunger button and uses a yellow tip. To draw up liquid, press the plunger button to the first stop. This is where you feel the first resistance. Do not press the button all the way down. If you press the button past the first stop, you will suck up more liquid than desired. With the button still pressed down to the first stop, stick the pipette tip just below the surface of the solution and slowly draw up the solution by relaxing your thumb and letting the button rise up. To dispense the liquid, place the pipette tip just below the surface or on the wall of the tube just above the solution you are adding the liquid to. Slowly press the button all the way down past the first stop to the second stop. Be sure to watch that the solution exits your pipette tip completely. Do not let your thumb relax until your pipette tip has been removed from the solution. To avoid contamination, use a new tip each time. Discard your old pipette tip by pressing the ejector button to release the used tip. When you are ready to pipette again, attach a new pipette tip to your micro pipette and continue. By following these simple instructions, you are one step closer to being a lab master!